Although prosthetics have been around for centuries, current options remain uncomfortable and of limited and unreliable functionality, so much so that some patients would prefer not to wear them at all. I'm Dr. Joff Lacey and I'm here in Sweden to find out how a new prosthetic is creating a pioneering union between man and machine. Dr. Max Ortiz Catalan is a world leader in the development of cutting edge prosthetics here in Gothenburg. So Max, as a specialist in prosthetics, can you explain to me what the current options are available for patients who have amputations? And the conventional way is with a socket. And a socket looks more or less like this. Purely secured just by by how tight yeah, it is. So you can imagine it's quite uncomfortable. That sounds very uncomfortable. It's very yeah. uncomfortable. And the, the second problem is how you control it. Can I see that being yes, done? Yes, we try that now. Please have a seat. We put them somewhere here. And so this is simulating just like it would be in the in socket the, of in the prosthesis. prosthesis. And now if you uh, flex your hand, your hand will yeah. open. And if you extend it, the hand will close. <laughs> It is, it is very difficult though to keep the control. And therefore you need a lot of force to be over the muscles to keep them in place. So it sounds like the current options don't have the reliability that you would want for something you'd use all the time. It's um, unfortunately the case. What have you and your team done to help with these problems? If you have the electrodes implanted in the muscles, you don't have the skin interface anymore. The electrodes are right in the muscle and because the signal comes at the latest point in the biological yeah. part. It's very seamless for the patient. The prosthetic limb that Max describes is attached to the patient's upper arm through a titanium implant, which is surgically fixed into the bone. Max's team then implanted electrodes directly into the patient's existing nerves and muscles. This means that the patient is able to control the movement of the prosthetic by thought alone. Hair try to be comfortable. To show me how this works, Max fixes electrode to my arm to record signals from my muscles. These signals are then translated back into movements in the prosthetic. Now we can control a prosthetic device like that one. Okay. And close. Wow. And that's all just because that the computer has learnt the pattern of the electrical activity in my muscles. Exactly. And once they have the electrodes implanted, we basically did that hand connect it. And they're good to go. And they exactly. So what's the so, next step in the development of this technology? We're working um, closing the loop and control by providing sensory feedback. Now we can produce the sense of touch in some parts of the hand, so the brain perceives touch as it will come from the missing hand. I travelled to Haparanda in the north of Sweden to meet Magnus Niska, who was the first person in the world to have the electrodes implanted along his titanium prosthesis. He is also due to be the first person ever to receive direct neural sensory feedback via a prosthesis that can be used in everyday life. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Oh, hi, I'm Joff. It's the arm. Yes, <laughs> it is. Nice to meet Welcome. you. Welcome. Come Thank in. You. And so the first prosthetic arm you had, what design was it? So it was a socket prosthesis. It was awful to have. <laughs> really? Every time when I'm coming home, I take it off. I was not happy to have it. So to use at the moment, show me how you what you do. I'm thinking about now. I want to close the hand. I closed. It's as simple as you go thinking. I just want to open. Yeah. That's it. It's like a new life. You can't do everything. I can work hundred percent now. Thank you. Welcome yeah. back. Ready for the next step? Yes. Let's do it. So this is the arm that can feel, then, is it? It's everything this in it. here, self-contained, ready to take home. So you now will have information passing in both directions. Exactly. This is a world first, the first test of a prosthetic mm -hmm. arm that can provide the sense of touch. So if I touch the finger, <laughs> you feel it? Yeah. You can feel it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can feel that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel it stronger if I... Yeah, a little stronger. Yeah. When the force increases, the frequency of stimulation increases, so he feels a stronger sensation. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Now I feel it. Feel I have something in my hand. Yeah, I it's my hand, Magnus. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Okay, so I start closing. And you stop when you feel something. Now I feel. You feel it there? That is amazing. What is it? <laughs> egg. <laughs> and then, were you holding eggs before? <laughs> no. Can you break it? Yeah. <laughs> How was that, Magnus? How did it feel? It was fantastic. It's almost like a, a real hand. Do you feel that you'll be able to replace all of the sensations that a, a, a normal hand would have? We have a connection to the nervous system. Yeah, now that's what you need. That, that's all we needed. But we're investigating um, how to expand that to, to more complex sensations. Mm. When I grab something, I can feel I have, and I don't need to look it. And I don't feel handicapped when I have this arm. 